Chains in your face. Subscribe now. Okay, here at the Serpent Center, and we're gonna see what Willie is up to, and maybe we can film some behind the scenes, get another video out for y'all. He's up here somewhere, and he's behind one of these doors, and there's the baby crocodile. Oh, I hear music. All right, guys, fingers crossed he's not in a mood. <clears throat> huh. Honey? Huh? What you doing? <laughs> a little behind the scenes today, maybe? Hey. What? First rule of safety, you know this oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, what about a snake out here? I know, I'm you sorry. You walk here and me. I was you just excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honey, you gotta, you gotta knock, and I gotta say it's okay to come in. Okay. Yeah. You know, so, you know, guys, please. first, huh? first rule of safety, guys. Whenever he has got venomous snakes, which is always he's working with venomous snakes, and I come up here before I ever enter a room, I say, "Honey, can I come in?" Yes. Just in case he's got a snake out. And that's how it's supposed to be and done. That's how it, and that's how we do it. And that's how we always do it. And but. she knows this. <laughs> so I just thought maybe we could do just, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes of whatever it is you're doing, like behind the scenes. Are you cleaning anything fun? A lapage. Oh, well, lapage. let's let's see some cobras. I mean, we just did diesel. Hand. So where's the white cobra? Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, remember how feisty she was yeah, when she, she was baby? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me put this this little monocle back, and um, and I gotta clean her. So. Yeah, I'll put a link to her feeding video when we first got her. She was insane. We wanted to see how toxic her venom was. Remember? She she's mean. She's mm -hmm. just a mean snake. This is a little male, hundred percent heterocystic monocle, and. Oh, dude, he's cleaned his cage. Listen to him huffing and puffing. He's well mannered. That's well mannered. Yeah. Oh, he's he's well mannered. How many years? I said I'm not. I'm yeah. never. No more cobras. After, I used to breed these things, and let me tell you, um, we were producing three, four hundred of them a year. The leucistics, the sunsets, the, I mean, you name it, we were producing them. And all they do is what? Eat and poop. Eat, eat and, poop. and poop. Eat and poop. Eat and poop. Fast metabolism. Yeah. And um, when I got tired of it after several years, I, I boxed them all up and I sent them down to Tommy. I, Tommy bought them all. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Tommy yeah. took all the breeders yeah. and all everything. All my leucistics, yeah. all my sunsets, all my big breeders, I, I got rid of all of them. I was like, enough of that. Because they are nothing but work. Well, we knew if we ever opened an exhibit to the public, we'd have to have yeah. a cobra. And of course, I wanted, I wanted, you know, you wanted couple, one that I was wanted a nice, cool, cool leucistic mm -hmm. one on things, so I had to go get a couple of leucistics, which is insane because <laughs> we had we had twenty five adult breeders leucistics, and it's like now I'm raising a pair of leucistics. But, right. but this 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 female, this snake's just a pure damn knucklehead. Now, is she related to any of your originals, or I don't know? I, I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, it's been so many years. It's been so long. I have to see where she's at. You can come a little closer right here, Dee. Okay. This, <laughs> this snake is ballistic. Uh huh. And this isn't like Diesel, where he's, you know, Diesel here, tests you. Here, this, this snake. This snake means business. This one will kill you. This one means business. And that is a snow white leucistic monocle cobra. She has no black on her, no color, nothing at all. No pigmentation. She is just snow white. And she means business. Let me tell you right now. Here, I'll get her out and get a better look at her. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> She's a knucklehead. Come on, crazy girl. 
and that is this why we don't have her on display? I mean, because I can't put her on display because she'll beat herself to death. Right, right. She will beat herself to death. Wow, she got big. Yeah, this is behind the scenes, y'all. This is no editing. This behind the scenes. Yeah, she's she's growing. She's a little over two years old right now, but what? She was in a shoe box the last time I took a video of her. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, we fed her. She was chasing chasing that chasing that mouse around. So mean. Yeah. Yeah. What's what what's what's um um Tyler Nolan call? He's he has got a real cool name for him. Kilo. Cool. Kilo, that's the yeah. kilo. Hey Tyler, this is half gram. <laughs> well she, or eight ball. she's not that small, I was gonna say. Yeah, or maybe she's she's eight ball. <laughs> is that the same kind? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, leucistic monocle. Mm -hmm. Except Tyler's is, I mean, he can actually handle it. Uh, this this one's a moron. <laughs> I mean, this one's just flat out mean. This this snake ain't defensive. This snake is a violent son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this yeah. snake's violent. Yeah, the, the one time that we can say, you know what? <laughs> Sorry, folks, this one is aggressive. <laughs> yeah, that one is aggressive. If you go, snakes ain't aggressive, they're just defensive. No, this snake's aggressive. Well, not all people are serial killers either, but you know, there's <laughs> right. a, there's this always a few bad apples. <laughs> right, <laughs> this snake's a serial killer. <laughs> she is a, she's mean, but I tell you, she's healthy. She is just. I can't believe how big she is. She, I mean, she's double the, ma the size of the male and they eat the same amount. I, I don't know why, it's just. Sometimes you just you can't figure things out. No, wait, we have a male and a female. Please don't tell me you're gonna breed them. No, I'm not breeding these things. <laughs> I have no, you know, mm -hmm. I have no cause to breed these things. I mean, none of the... It's not like you don't, you need to prove that you've done every morph under the I sun. I've literally thousands of cobras. Mm -hmm. I, and I'll tell you, if, if, if you want to breed venomous snakes, that cobras, mm -hmm. especially monocles, easiest cobra in the world. Easiest snake to breed. Mm -hmm. You know, check out my, um, I wrote an article about it many, many years ago on just how to breed them, time, uh, everything to do. It's just, they're easier to breed than corn snakes. <laughs> they are very, very simple. So should this Can't is... breed cobras? You shouldn't have no business keeping cobras because they are so easy to breed the same Well, time. not everybody wants to breed snakes. Right, so. I know, but I'm saying they're just, they're just that simple. The, um... So it's just all this maintenance and nobody can even look at her and enjoy her because she's so ballistic. I know. And she's just too mean. She's just, she's, she'll be Do they herself. ever calm yeah. down? They all I mean, have a different personality. You know what I mean? It's so like, she's a she, male. He's kind of docile and cool. Mm -hmm. But she's, she's, she's crazy. And, um, so age isn't going to help. Nah. I mean, if, if, I, if I spent time and, and mm -hmm. interacted with her every day right. and... And and um, you know, and got her conditioned to be conditioned to be handled more and, and, and to be more. But I don't, I don't. I feed them and I clean them and I don't mess with them. So that, that's why they're like that. Well, you, just, you got five hundred other animals to take care yeah, of. We got as many animals as we got. We got to take care of the animals. You know, and just move on to the next one. But she does need some humidity in here. I'm gonna open all these windows because it's raining good right now. I don't know if anyone can hear this. Big old fat rain. Big old fat rain big brings great breeding success. We have some major pairing up going on at the surfing center. The eyelash vipers are, are breeding like crazy right now too, so. Eyelash vipers, bushmasters. The Rutus, the Rutus, um, actually these right here. Are they here, in their breeding now? No, but see her with her tail up like yep, that? I do. See, see that? Now watch, she's going to start moving no, around I... that. She's releasing a pheromone to attract him right now. Am I getting that in the film there? There we go. Looks like it. But, but Okay. But this female, he just copulated with her um, just a few weeks back. 
Mm-hmm. So she's done. A pair of my Rutus copulating. Very cool. She's done. And that that copulation was the longest one I've ever experienced with 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 Bothrops total. It went like 13 hours. That was it was insane. Usually it's four or five hours. It was 13 hours they were locked up. But that male, he's a stud. <laughs> Didn't the Bushmasters do that too? Wasn't the it Bush like Masters overnight? Went a long time mm -hmm. too. That night and then all the way the blackheads did and yeah. all the way until the next afternoon. It was like so usually when you get that long of a of a copulation, it usually turns out to be a really a really successful pairing. So um, she's pretty clean. I mean, I only found one little pile of poop in there and clean water. Let's put her back. Um, what, we'll put her, what we say we're going to name her? Half gram. No, <laughs> no, she's bigger than a half gram. Eight ball. She Eight ball. ball. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to go with the cocaine godmother type thing, <laughs> you know. Uh, no! Cool name. Oh, what was her name in that show? The, the movie we just watched. Yeah, was. Griselda. Griselda. Yeah. Griselda, y'all. Because that's kind of a name that sounds like you're going to be mean. <laughs> right. Doesn't it? Griselda. That's her name. Griselda. That's it. <laughs> Here, let me see. This snake is... Here, no, name. I'm not... No, yeah, you totally can. Because... <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? Get me out of this can. I can bite something. I'm gonna pop in a clip of when we first got her, when she was a brand new baby, and we and she, wanted to see how she, hot her back She was chasing was. that mouse around. And she chased that mouse, and she tortured that poor thing. I mean, <laughs> it died quickly. I mean, it did. It was just happened yeah. quickly. Here, babe, let me put it back. She wouldn't stop biting. <laughs> she bit it like 20 times. She was, uh, and yeah, and she's only gotten worse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, let me get that tail. Yeah, this is one you don't play with. This make me business. But she, she's growing. She's getting big. Naja Kuthia, folks. She's getting big. Monocle Cobra. All right, baby, get in there. Right in your hat box. There we go. He always has the most thickest of lapids, too. They always look like other people's pit vipers. All right. But she's good. This is definitely not going to be an educational video, y'all. <laughs> this is just going to be craziness. <laughs> so if you think you're getting educated, if you today, logged in for your kids to to learn something, change the channel. Change the channel. <laughs> this, this is not an educational one. <laughs> this is how you clean this, poop. This is hillbillies at work. <laughs> this what? Hillbillies at this work. This hillbillies at work. Let me check these tie pans. Okay. This is what everybody else tells me about their tie pants. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you, not these ones. They're they're defensive. They get in that little S position and hunch up their heads and blow their throats out. they and it's crazy because the females are the ones that are mean, that are that are more defensive, and the males are just a little more chill. It's probably in their genetics from not seeing. Not seeing people. People for that. See, like like this one right now, it's mm -hmm. already bouncing around. And here, let me show. It's already bouncing around. 
Here, I don't want your hands even close to that damn thing. No, I got it. I'm on the hook there. Hold that lid, babe. Mm -hmm. Until I the light. Sorry, y'all. This is an unexpected video, so we're just kind of winging it. <laughs> but there's one of our inland tie pans. Oxyronis microlepidotis. That almost sounds like a song. <laughs> They're actually getting ready to get moved out of this rack and put into the big rack back there behind you. I leaned it down, y'all. I've only got like 10 inlets. <laughs> so, I mean, we had a bunch of them, but um, I sent my buddy Carl a bunch of them down there at, to uh, his Venom lab in Florida at uh, Medtox. Um, we're getting ready to send some more snakes out here next week. Uh, zoo toxins, a lab in California, some, some rattlesnakes. Um, so, um, yeah, we're hitting a lot of snakes to a lot of labs here lately. A lot of different venom labs. But, um, all right, can you get out of here so I can so I can keep working? <laughs> oh, I gotta go? Yeah, I just... And you already took up my time. I'm sorry. I, I love you, baby. Love you, too. Give me a kiss. <laughs> this is Willie from Venom Central Serpent Center. Later.